everyone today's video is gonna be about dialysis and as I mentioned in my previous video uh, I'm already having a kidney failure and it's actually stage 5 and I was also advised to have dialysis but the good thing is my symptoms is already stable so my dialysis is on hold so for everyone to know I'm not on dialysis uh, and hopefully I will be able to do my transplant before my symptoms get worse. I'm gonna update you guys what's gonna happen is so I actually did my blood test and we will know next month if whatever your decision so yeah um, I'm waiting and we'll see so dialysis is another treatment for people with kidney failure just like us it has different kind of uh, types but I'm just gonna talk about peritoneal dialysis and hemodialysis it is because uh, it's very popular, it's very common, and it's normally used for long-term treatment as well. So for hemodialysis, uh, you will need to have a fistula access. So normally they put it here, over here, or maybe there, <laughs> somewhere there. So you will need that access and you will be advised to go to the hospital. Um, depending on the situation, normally it's two to three times a week, or it depends. And you will need to stay there for four hours, also depending on the situation. And if I'm not mistaken, I think you will need two, needle, two needles every time you do the dialysis. So that's kind of scary. It's a really a big one. <laughs> so I, I had a picture somewhere there. <laughs> and um, for that, uh, there's also a very strict diet, diet there. Um, you are, you need to be very careful of your water intake because uh, too much water can also cause a lot of problem. But the good thing with that is that you will just do it two to three times and the rest of the day you can just have your rest or do something else like that. Um, yeah, so that's the hemodialysis and for the peritoneal dialysis, it involves a tube that is inserted in the belly and in there you will have your own artificial filter and for this you have to do it every day um, for other people they do like three times a day kind of like that like 30 minutes for three times a day and also the other one they can also do like every night like nine hours like that so yeah and the good thing about this is that you have to you, you do it at home on your own so that's also you know like if you want to do work in the morning then that's i think it's a perfect thing um you can just go to work in the morning and then at home you can just do your dialysis and it's every day and for the diet there is a less restriction for this because uh as i mentioned it's an everyday dialysis so blood will be clean every day so yeah there is that's actually a good good part of that aside from the needle <laughs> so yeah this, those were the difference of uh, peritoneal dialysis and hemodialysis and also i think the good the bad side of the peritoneal dialysis is that um, you're very at risk of uh, infection but maybe um, if you're be very careful then it will last long so those were the dialysis and I was actually advised to choose whether I need to do the peritoneal dialysis or hemodialysis and I honestly uh, had a hard time choosing because uh, both, of, both of them are good in some ways but there are also things that really scare me like for example the hemo. I like the idea of doing it three times a week but I really don't like the needle. I feel like I already have a lot of needles inserted in my body and I'm tired of it so I really don't like it and also for the peritoneal dialysis it's kind of very I just I just don't like the tube that's hanging in my belly if I'm gonna do that but I'm more scared of the needle so at the end of the day I decided to choose the peritoneal dialysis um, also because um, considering the situation today like first uh, we have the pandemic it's still not it's still not safe outside and I don't think it's good for me to go to the hospital every time and second I don't have to deal with the needle the big big needles <laughs> and third I can eat I mean I can drink uh, 
water as much as I want and I don't have to be very careful about that because um, I'm doing everyday dialysis so every day my blood is being cleaned so that's those were my reasons of choosing the hemo uh, peritoneal dialysis I actually um, thought of hemodialysis as well but then yeah the needle is really a big part of it so yeah I'm guess I'm just gonna stay with the peritoneal dialysis and for that they mentioned that uh, it, it has a higher risk for peri, uh, peri I forgot that name but it's kind of like an infection it's actually an infection <laughs> peritonitis I think okay so it, they said it's a uh, it's another complication or it's another possible uh, problem kind of like that so um, we'll see um, but I know a lot of people also that are doing this and they are good I mean they're doing it for a long time so I think it depends on the person as well and I'm just gonna try to be more careful as much as possible but I hope that I won't have to do that <laughs> okay so um that's it um that's our video for today and if you guys have any uh suggestion or comment or any experience regarding peritoneal dialysis or hemodialysis please let me know uh, just comment down below and um, i see you again next time so thank you so much for watching stay safe everyone and be healthy and happy Bye!